the <coughs> B gate by rotating about the point. Right. Uh, to, actually, uh, another few theories we have, and today I suppose to finish them all. And uh, finally, uh, there is another uh, small theory that is newly introduced to the syllabus. That is the uh, last part, uh, the Moore's theorem. Right. Uh, after the Moore's theorem, uh, we can come to the end of the lesson. But remember, people, we must do more sums. Right. Uh, okay. Now uh, today <coughs> we come to the next one. The next part is. Uh, equation of paths. Uh, in this case, we are supposed to discuss three paths, straight line, circle and perpendicular bisector uh, of a line. Okay, right. Uh, now, write the today heading as equation of paths. equations of path paths, right okay right now uh, <clears throat> here first one is the straight line right the straight line straight line right even now you know when we draw a straight line in the oxi coordinate plane hmm? think like this for xi coordinate plane, we draw, suppose this way, a straight line, huh? right? So then this is y equals x plus one, right? Now you can very clearly understand the straight line, okay, has the equation y equals x plus one. Then here, the relationship between y and x, what are these y and x? When we consider any point on the line SP with coordinates x and y, this x coordinate and y coordinate are here is y and x. Then the <coughs> common relationship between x and y is the equation of the straight line. Okay. Now, people suppose the same line, now I am drawing in the argon plane. This is now real axis. This is imaginary axis now. Right. Now, suppose the line I have drawn, the same line, I drew on the argon plane like this. This is the argon plane. The same line I drew. Now, this is argon plane. Well, you know, in the argon plane, we don't have coordinates, no? In the argon plane, we don't have coordinates. In the argon plane, what we have? By a point, we get a complex number. Then in this case, if we need to give the equation of the same straight line, okay, this way xi you can't use, okay, because by a point on the argon plane, now by the point P we say not the coordinates, by the point P we say a complex number is represented, is it represented? For the same line, if I try to find an equation using this complex number, that is called as the equation of the straight line in the complex form. Right. Let's see people how to do this. Right. Uh, I'm going to take this way. Uh, suppose on the line this, suppose this line is L, the same line here we have. Even now here the point P is any point on the line, okay? Any general point on the line with coordinates x, y. Like that here the same point we have, but no coordinates available. Instead of coordinates, we have complex number. Then is there this any complex number on the line? Now I am going to obtain a general relationship involved in this z. For this, this is what I do next. Because suppose on the line, we have another point, say P naught, that represents a fixed complex number Z naught. Fixed complex number Z naught. That Z naught complex number is represented by the point P naught. Okay, right. 
now our purpose is to obtain our purpose is to obtain a relationship for this z involved in this z not that relationship we are going to obtain involving z and z not people should be true wherever this variable point p lies here also you can very clearly understand this relationship between x and y ha uh, become true wherever the point p lies on the line similar relation only we have to obtain for the z in this case now people this is how we obtain suppose we know a point p not right it's a fixed point on the line uh, with the complex number represented by that point from this point i divide this line into two parts like this hmm? now we consider first the part above this point p not this way suppose this angle is alpha measured hmm? from the positive real axis in anti clockwise understand okay this dotted line is parallel real axis angle measured in anti clockwise angle is alpha now people starting from this p node go along the line up okay the point p is a variable point but this point p node is a fixed point this point p can vary on this part of the line as well as on this part on the line okay yeah now when we consider only the part above this p not right i am going to take this way p not p p not p hmm? p not p it's a line segment by the line segment p not p the complex number represented these people what ending point complex number minus starting point complex number this okay and when i put an arrow this arrow should be pointed like this okay we don't know where ever the point p lies but about the point p not this point <coughs> point p is a variable point on the line wherever it lies above the point p not when we go from p not to p our arrow is going away like this as long as the arrow is going away like this right the resulting line segment will have the argument what people alpha understand resulting line segment gives this way a complex number then its argument is always constant it is equal to alpha when the point p lies above the point p not understand so therefore we take the equation of the line segment about the point p not about the about the point p not this is a line segment this is going to the infinity then this portion its equation in the complex form we consider like this okay now consider the part below the line segment below this p not that means this part So now suppose that variable point P lies somewhere here. Now, when we start from P not and come to this P, our arrowhead is going this way. Then uh, that line segment, when we consider very carefully, its argument, if we need to find people, we know the argument is defined to be how. if we start this line segment to draw from the origin okay uh, then for example if i take this p not p line segment draw in from this origin this way arrow it is going like this now its argument going to be people this no in the positive sense if we consider argument it is this the same angle people available here this one then when this point p lies below this p not then p not p you still 
the complex number this p not p is it bytes is it not but its argument is now people not alpha pi plus alpha arg is pi plus alpha okay so there are four people when we represent the equation of a straight line using a complex number for the whole single line in this case people we can't find only one equation as we had here in the cartesian form we can give one equation for the whole line but in the complex form people the straight line we have divided into two parts right by a point that point is on the line then we assign two equations for the two parts the part above the line the part below the line understand not the part above the point and part below the point okay taking like that two straight line segments now we express the equation of the straight line in two equations like this understand so therefore remember people whenever you see this kind of relations with this is it a variable complex number and is it not this one is a fixed complex number and this alpha is a fixed angle argument of is it minus is it not equals alpha where this is a this variable complex number is it not is a fixed complex number alpha is a fixed angle in that relation that says the equation of a straight line what kind of straight line yeah the straight line starting from is it not starting from is it not making an angle alpha with the positive x axis in anti clockwise understand that kind of straight line is represented by the line so therefore in uh, finding the equation for the straight line in complex form using complex numbers people we have to divide the line into two parts and two equations we have to assign and the other thing is people remember this complex sum is it right now other thing you have to understand here is this now when i express the equation of the straight line segment which is above the point p not this way hmm? above the point p not this way right now the point p represent the complex sum is it that can move right to any place on the line above the point p not right now suppose is it uh, the point p is here p not here from p not to p when we consider you can very clearly see we get a line segment right for this line segment people we can find an angle that makes with the positive real axis now we said what this point p is a variable point the point p can vary ah huh? that can come to any point on the line segment which is above the point p not people well, one occasion suppose this z comes on to z not that means that variable complex number point p here p not no right p not to p line segment for this line segment only people we can find an argument right now we said this point p represent the complex sum is a variable one that can lie any place at any point on the line segment which is above the p not once uh, one occasion once it while it is moving suppose that comes on to this p not that means p and p p point p variable point and p not now coincide each other even now when p and p not coincide each other do we get line segment no we get a point we can really measure if we have a straight line if we have a straight line then we can measure this kind of angle but instead of a straight line if we have a point after co coinciding this point p with p not we get a point for a point people nobody can define this way an angle making with the real axis in anti clockwise then this equation will be meaningless when 
that P and P naught coincide each other. So therefore, we have to mention there what people, the variable point P never coincide with this P naught. That means when these two become equal, Z minus Z naught people, what? Zero, because these two become equal. No? For the zero complex number, right people, it's, it, that cannot be represented by a line segment. The line segment length should be zero. For zero length line segment people, argument cannot be defined. So therefore, whenever you draw this kind of straight line, you have to, at the point P naught, you have to draw a circle like this. And don't color that circle. Once you draw a circle like this, it says this variable point P represents a complex number Z never comes onto the point P naught. Understand? So therefore, it's a very important case. If you don't draw this way a circle, don't color. If you color that, that says that point P naught we can include. Right? Don't color, just draw a circle. If you don't have this way, this circle, you lose five marks when you draw this line. Okay? So therefore, the summary is people this way. When we express the straight line, any straight line, using the equation in the complex form, by a single equation, we can't express the whole line. The whole line, we have divided in two parts by a point on the line. Then we express two equations for the part above that point and part below that point on the line. When we express that equation, people, we use the argument, the argument of the line segment we have above that point and below that point on the line. Understand? Okay. Right. So then we'll come to that one as a first. All right on this way. Consider Consider the straight line simple L simple L on the argon plane passing through the <coughs> Passing through the point P naught passing through the point P naught which represents complex sum is it not? And making and making and making an angle and making an angle alpha with the real axis. in anticlockwise Right, we will draw this diagram. Suppose this point P represents the complex sum result. Right. First one, equation 
of the line segment or line segment yeah above the point P naught. This portion. Right. How people? By the line segment P naught to P, the complex number given is Z minus Z naught. Remember, we know that. It's very similar to writing a vector using the position vector at the ending points, right? You can now write the complex number represented by P naught P is what people? Is it minus is it not? Is it minus is it not? Hmm? Its argument is people here alpha. They are for the equation. Arg. Is it minus is it not equals alpha? Second part. I will take somewhere here that point P. Represent the complex number, we said. Second part, right on. Equation of the line segment. Below the point. P naught now you can write the complex number represented by P naught P again huh? P naught P now this part now huh? then its argument going to be people what starting from here this one huh? Phi plus L. The complex number represented by P naught P is third minus the naught. Arg said minus the naught. Is people now pi plus alpha, pi plus alpha, right? Right. In this way, by using two equations only, we can express the equation of a single line when it is on the argon plane. Right now. Special remember here to put what? A circle. Don't color that. Right? That is the path of the straight line in complex form. Right. Second one, people. Second one is circle. Second one is circle. Number two. Now suppose we draw a circle 
on the OXY plane. Hmm? In the Cartesian coordinate plane, this way. Huh? Then, if the center is, say, P naught with coordinates X naught, Y naught, and radius is R, suppose the variable point P, coordinate X, Y. Then you know how to write the equation of this. To write the equation, we use the common property that the distance from P naught to P hmm, equals R. That property we use. Then squaring this only, we take what we know. Equation. Okay. How write this? The distance between P, P naught, X minus X naught, of x squared plus y minus y naught of x squared is equal to r squared. This is how we obtain that. Now, when we draw the same circle on the argon plane now, people, how to take this equation? When we draw argon plane, people, you know, we don't have coordinates. We don't have xy coordinates. By the argon plane, a point by the argon plane that represents a complex number. Hmm? We know that. We said what? By a point on the argon plane, that point represents a complex number, not x y coordinates like this. Right? Now, if you draw the same circle on the argon plane, like this. Real axis, imaginary axis. Circle is this. Hmm? Here the point P naught. Now the point P naught gives us a complex sum which is naught. Radius, uh, suppose still R. Right. Now this is a point on the circle P that represents a variable complex sum which is Here this point P is what people? Variable point, no. That P can move on the circle. It can be anywhere on the circle, like that. This is the point P, but this time this point P represents a complex number, not x, y coordinates. Now people, our purpose is to obtain, here we obtain a relationship between x and y naught. That's what here we have. This x naught, y naught fixed. Like that, this point P naught, the complex number represented by the point P naught is a naught, it is a fixed complex number. Now, our purpose is to obtain a common relation involving this is it. Wherever the point P lies on the circle, the result we are going to obtain should be true. Because in this case also, we can use the fact the distance from P naught to P is always equal to R. That fact we can use. How to use this fact? People, in this case, we can write by the line segment P naught to P, by the line segment P naught to P, hmm? starting from P naught ending at P, P naught to P. What is the complex number that represents? Hmm? Ending point complex number minus starting point complex number, no? Huh? That is very similar to find the vector by using the position vectors at the ends of the line segment. Ending point position vector minus starting point position vector. Right, like that. By the line segment, the complex number representing can be found. Ending point complex number minus starting point complex number. P naught P gives or represents hmm, the complex number Is it minus? Is it not? Right. People then uh, tell me what is P naught P length? Hmm? P naught P length. You know, when we introduce that polar form of a complex number, if we have a complex sum wizard here, this is theta. 
arrowhead is going like this. This length is R. Then we say by the line segment, this is from here to here, the line segment represents the complex of vision. Then this length R is nothing but modulus of this complex sum we said. Understand? Like that, people. This length from P naught to P, simple R mean, by the line segment P naught to P, it represents the complex sum of this. When we find the modulus of this complex number, Z minus Z naught. Modulus of a complex number mean the length of the line segment representing that complex number. Therefore, Z minus Z naught modulus means the length from here to here. It is R because the radius of a circle is R. Therefore, people, wherever the point P lies on the circle, this relation become true. So therefore, this is the equation of the circle in complex form. Involving complex number, this is the equation. Understand? So therefore, remember, modulus of difference of two complex numbers equal a fixed value. If we have such path, where are this? Is it not is a fixed one and is it this variable? then by this path that describes the path of a circle. Center is at Z naught, radius is the right hand side fixed value. Understand? So therefore, by a modulus equal value, remember, we get equation of a circle. Right now? All right. So then we'll write the circle. I don't know, just consider The circle with radius simple r and the complex number at its center, the complex number at its center. Is it not? Right, we do the diagram there. Right. Then you can write first one. P naught P represents the complex number. Is it minus? Is it not? Hmm? Is it minus? Is it not? Therefore, P naught P length is a modulus of Z minus Z not. P naught P length is equal to modulus of Z minus Z not. But you know P naught P is people R. Radius no? Since P naught P is equal to R. Equation of a circle. Is modulus of Z minus Z naught equals R. Right, no, people. This is what we take. Even another one more we have. That is the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a straight line. Hmm? 
third form. Right, no? Right now, the other thing is, uh, third one write down. The equation of perpendicular bisector. The equation of perpendicular bisector of a straight line. First straight line. Perpendicular bisector, bisector of a straight line, right? Perpendicular bisector of a straight line segment, right? Right now, uh, suppose we have a straight line segment on the argon plane like this. Real axis, image axis. Suppose this is a line segment, right? This point P1 represents the complex on wizard one. This point, suppose P2, represent the complex of Z2. Now this P1, P2 is a line segment. The perpendicular bisector mean what people? Suppose the midpoint is this. This and this being equal. Okay. Now through this uh, midpoint, we draw a line perpendicular to this line, like this. Right, this way. This is mind now. This is called as the perpendicular bisector of the line P1, P2. Perpendicular bisector of the line P1, P2. Now it's the equation we need to find. Hmm? It's the equation we need to find using complex form, complex numbers. That means people, if we consider any point on this line, say P, since it is on the argon plane, that P represents a complex number. Suppose the complex number, the P represent is Z. Now we have to obtain a general relationship involved in that is it? Hmm? Yeah, can someone tell me the fact we must use to generate or develop such common relationship involving is it? Hmm? People now, if I join this P1, P, this way, right? And P2P, this way. By these two triangles, you can see this length and this length being equal. This length is common from here to here. And this angle and this angle being equal. Then these two right angle triangles are people, congruent triangles, hmm? side, angle, side. So therefore, this length and this length being equal. That two lengths being equal wherever the point P lies on that bisector. Wherever the point P lies on this line, the length this and the length this become equal. That geometrical fact we can use to get 
the relation involving z right then we can write people p1 p length is equal to p2 p length you know by the line segment p1 p what is the complex number which represents starting point is p1 we are going from p1 to p this way we move ending point complex number minus starting point complex number is the complex number represented by p1 p then what is p1 p length is a modulus of complex number which represents like that p2 p hmm? represent the complex number z minus z2 then p to p length going to be people the modulus of this then substitute here what do you get z minus z one modulus is equal to z minus z two modulus if you have this kind of equation where this is a this is a variable complex number z one and z two are two fixed complex numbers z here and here variable complex number is it one and is it two fixed complex numbers and if we find this way a path by having two equal module values having two equal module values like this two equal module values in them the first complex number if a is it is a variable one other two are fixed then by that equation it represents the equation of perpendicular bisector of the line segment hmm? joining the complex numbers z1 and z2 here right so therefore this is how we take that okay now write down like this consider the line segment p1 p2 consider line segment p1 p2 represent in the represent in the complex numbers represent in the complex numbers is it 1 and is it 2 write down let the perpendicular bisector let the perpendicular bisector of the line segment p1 p2 of the line segment p1 p2 b b b e b simple l people draw this diagram draw this diagram now write like this by geometry p1 p length is equal to p2 p length suppose this is star you can write p1 p length is equal to what paper z minus z1 modulus p2 p z minus z2 modulus therefore by star
Is the equal the equation? Right. We will now take your tutorial. Take your tutorial. Take question number 40. Take question number 40. Take question number 40. Take question number 40. It says, find the locus of Z which moves such that this. Huh? 41st part. You will have R Z minus 2 minus 3i hmm? equals 2 pi by 3. Right. Well, now you know whenever we are given this way, you know this. It's a straight line starting with argument, straight line. Then, how is this line passing through the point representing the complex sum? Is it not making an angle alpha in anti clockwise? Right. All right, so this line segment, right. Then if I prepare like this, people, arg, he said, take this minus sign out, then we get 2 plus 3i, right, 2 pi by 3. Then this is your people, what? That complex number, is said not. Then this is a line that passes through where? Huh? Through the complex sum, is it not? If you speak about the coordinates, two, three point. The line this passes through the point two, three coordinates. And making what people? An angle two pi by three with positive real axis in what people? Anticlockwise. So then, how do you draw the diagram? Hmm? Real axis. Imaginary axis. 2 plus 3i. Right. I am now talking about the coordinates for our convenience of understanding. X coordinate 2, y coordinate 3. Real part 2, imaginary part 3. Ah, this is that point. Right. Suppose this complex sum is. 2 plus 3i. Hmm? Right. Now, we have draw a line from here to this point, this way. Hmm. Now, people, what portion? There are two parts, no? About this point, this part. Below this point, this part, there are two line segments. Hmm? Then uh, this equation represents what part, people? The argument of that line segment should be 120. Argument is measured starting from the positive real axis, anticlockwise, no, positive argument. What portion of these two line segments makes 120 degree. It is this people. If I draw what some line like this, this is the 120. If I consider this one people, the angle is this more than 120. No? So therefore, 
the required line segment is not this it is this right this is the line segment and we said what this 2 plus 3i complex sum is not included therefore we have to circle here right so then people this is the time segment This is two pi by three. This height and this length we know. Two, this is three. The complex number here is people. Two plus three i. This is the path. That means this is a lies on this line segment. Where we can produce this this in. Right, no? This part. Then uh, the complex number this is a people can lie at any point on this line segment. Right now, yeah, this is the path. This path is this. This is a, is a variable complex number that lies at any point on this line. Now, what is next, people? Find is it? What is it? This is it. When is it this pure imaginary? When is it this pure imaginary? People, when the complex sum is pure imaginary, suppose this way. This is it become pure imaginary if the real part is zero. Now, if I consider this a two y complex sum, two y complex sum, where's this complex number? In Cartesian form, if we express this one, zero plus two y, no, the only imaginary. The point zero two. Where is zero two people? On the imaginary axis. On the imaginary axis. So, therefore, remember, people, the complex numbers which are pure imaginary lie on the imaginary axis. Then the complex number we need hmm, lies on this line. The complex number we need lies on this line because we need to find. Find is it hmm? when is it this purely imaginary? What is it? The is it given by this equation? Is it given by this equation? Lie on this line. And meantime, you can see at every, there are infinitely many points on this line, no people. Infinitely many points. Every point gives a complex number that is is it. Now, what complex number among them we need? The complex number which lies on this line as well as that should be imaginary, pure imaginary. You know, pure imaginary complex numbers lie on the imaginary axis. So, therefore, this is the point. What that lies on the imaginary axis as well as on this line. Then, if I find this complex number, people, this is the complex number hmm? which is available on the line. Be all imaginary. Then this complex number we need to find. People, you can very clearly understand if we can find this height. If we can find this height, suppose y. What is this height? The imaginary part of the complex number. No, what complex number? At this point, the complex number. If we can use geometry to find this height then people we can get down for that we can use this way people i draw this horizontal line like this this is 2 pi by 3 means people this is pi by 3 
okay this is 90 by the diagram you can write Ten five by three. Opposite side y whole thing this part three by minus three divided by the adjacent two. Ten five by three root three. Use the plus multiplication two root three. Then y can be subjected. Y is what? 3 plus 2 root 3. This is known. Then what is the complex number? I, y, no? Then the required complex number is I, y. Therefore, required complex number. Hmm? 3 plus 2 root 3, i. That's how we take the terms. Right. I take it second part, people. I'll give two minutes. Just think and take the answer. Second part. Take second part. Second part is this. Find the low cost of z uh, moving such that arg is it plus four plus three i equals five by six? Hmm? Yeah, how to find this people? So, whenever we determine the path of a straight line, people, the equation remember we should have a complex number, then minus sign, and another complex number equals alpha. Then the straight line segment passes through this point. That point should be soon after minus sign. So in such a way that we have to prepare this first. Hmm? Then we get arg z take minus sign out hmm? minus four minus three i equals five by six. Because then what is the straight line segment? that passes through the complex number minus 4 minus 3i. In coordinate form, when we express that minus 4 minus 3i complex number, where is it? x coordinate minus 4, y coordinate minus 3. Understand? Yeah. Then now we'll draw that diagram, that line on the argon plane. Hmm? Like this. This is the because imaginary axis is a real axis. Hmm? Minus four minus three i. Minus four somewhere here. Hmm? Minus three somewhere here, suppose. Then the complex sum is here. Right? This is a complex number. So this point that required line should pass people. Right? So this is minus. Maybe this minus four, right? Then we can draw that line like this. Okay. The line we don't know that can be like this. Okay. The angle pi by six. No? Then with the positive real axis in anticlockwise, that line should be making an angle 30. So this is the portion, not the portion like this. When we draw like this, people, what are the argument? Argument is this whole angle. That is more than pi by six. So therefore, it is not the required line segment which gives this huh, equation. It is this. Right? 
Now there is another issue here. What is that? What is that, people? Though we have drawn like this, the line can't it be like this, moving like this, going above the origin like this? There is a such possibility, no? That also correctly we have to determine. That can easily be done, people. History. Now, uh, this height we can find. If we take this as people see y. Now this is 30, no? 5 by 6. This is also 5 by 6. This is 90. If this is 5 by 6, this is 5 by 6. Hmm? This length is 4 units. This length is y. Then we can just write tan 5 by 6. Y upon 4. This height, huh? this is a length. It's y, this is 4. Remember what is this y? Tan 5 by 6, 1 over root 3, 4 upon root 3. Now, if this y 4 upon root 3, what is this height from whole? The whole height, 3 units now. If this y greater than 3, then this line should go above the origin. If this y less than 3 units, then this way correct. Okay? Now, see, by comparing this 4 over root 3 and that 3. Okay? Then people, how to consider this now? This one, we can divide by root 3, multiply by root 3. Okay. Then this is 4. Now, denominators being equal now. The bigger one we need to find. This is 4, this is 3 root 3. Right? People, 3 root 3. Root 3 is 1.7 now. If this root is 1.5, 3 into 1.5 is people 4.5. This numerator bigger than this. Okay. So therefore, this y, hmm? the y is smaller than this figure. No? Therefore, the diagram we have drawn is correct. 4 over root 3. Right? Smaller than this 3. Okay? For over root 3, we have 3 divided by root 3, multiplied by root 3. Now, root 3, root 3 people, denominators are equal, then to get the bigger value, we have to consider the numerator. 3 root 3 is greater. Therefore, 4 over root 3, smaller than this. This y is smaller than what this 3. So, therefore, this diagram is correct. Right? Now, what is next? This is a path given by this equation. Arg is a plus 4 plus 3i equals 5 by 6. This is a path. That is okay. Right. Now, people in the path, what is this? Is it? What is this? Is it? Ah. On the line, these people, how many points are available? Infinitely many points are available. When we consider any point, suppose here on the line, that point gives a complex number. That complex number is this. Now, what is asking next? Find the minimum of mod Z. All ah, right, find the minimum of mod Z. Minimum of mod z. This is it complex numbers lie where people on the line. Right. People, how do you define the modulus of a complex number? Suppose we have this way argon plane, real axis, imaginary axis. Suppose here we have a point say P that gives a complex number. Isn't? Then what is meant by the mod z? 
when you join this point P to the origin O by a line, then what does that mean, people? The length OP. If you remember, in the argon plane, modulus of a complex number mean when the complex number is represented by a point, the length to that point from the origin, the length to that point from the origin is the people modulus of that complex number. Right. Now, here this is the origin. The Z complex numbers lie on the line this. There are infinitely many complex numbers for Z. Yeah, on the line this. Now, what complex number we need? Hmm? We need to find a mod Z minimum value. All oh, right. That means people mod Z minimum mean since the Z complex numbers lie on this line, the shortest distance the shortest distance to this line from the origin. That's what we need to find. Okay. Now, if I draw this diagram again, people in another one, people remember this part is very important. Maybe confusing. Carefully pay your attention. Right. This is the line. This is the line, right? All Z complex numbers available on this. Now, suppose here we have a complex number. Is it? Then its modulus mean what, people? When we join this O and this point, this length is the modulus of this complex number. Then, if we need this minimum of what is it? Then the distance from this origin to this line should be minimum. That's what I'm saying. The minimum distance from the point O to this line means the perpendicular distance from origin to the line. There's a complex number here on the line. Its modulus is this length. But among the distances from this origin O, to this line, the minimum is this length, the perpendicular distance, no, the minimum one. Therefore, minimum of mod this is this. That means when you drop a perpendicular from here, origin to the line, this. There's a complex number here. It is the complex number is it on the line having minimum modulus. The minimum model is going to be people this length. Then our purpose is to find that length. Now you can use geometry hmm, to get that length. Ah, then you can first mark this as mod this minimum. Mod this minimum, right? Then you can write it like this. That length we need to find people. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to write this y we can write tan pi by six is y upon this four. And then y equals four upon root three. Right. People out of this whole height, three units. Then what is this part? This part going to be three minus y, no? Right. This part going to be whole thing is three. This is y, three minus y. Okay. This is 30, 90, 60. This is 60. Then this opposite side going to be people. This length sine 60. Then what is it minimum? What is that minimum? Hmm? 3 minus y sine 60. No? This is 60, no? Right? Sine 60. Okay, no? Why you know here?
sin 60 mean people root 3 by 2. Simplify this as homework to get this answer. Right. Right. People, question number 40 part 3, you can do as homework. Uh, question number 40 part 3. Part 3 has second part B. Question number 40 part 3. It contains two parts A and B. Under part B, uh, you have to, sometimes I may have corrected that. If is that this purely real? You have to include that word purely real, purely. The word purely is not available there. Purely real. Do that part 43 as homework. Find the locus of Z such that this a straight line now, people. If Z is purely imaginary, all purely imaginary complex numbers lie where people on imaginary axis. After drawing this line, that line cuts the imaginary axis. Uh, that point gives a complex number. That is the complex number we need uh, for purely imaginary complex number. Find mod Z. Uh, to that point, the distance from the origin is the modulus of Z. And argument of Z of that complex number, it's argument. That people, how to find the argument? Argument mean people. Now suppose. The complex number lies here at this point. Then argument how to define the origin name, that point we joined by a line. Then from the positive real axis in anticlockwise, we measure the angle. That's the argument. Now suppose the complex number purely imaginary, but line on the negative imaginary axis. Then argument people, we have to join this line. We can measure the argument this way. In the positive sense, it is 270. If you measure clockwise sense, negative sense, it is minus 90, minus 5 by 2. That way you can give the argument. Right? I think you can do that part as homework. Right. Do that part as homework. Right. Uh, we will now take next one. Question of 41. Question number 41. Take question of 41 as the next. In the tutorial. Take question of 41. Question number 41. What is that path? Find the locus of Z such that Z plus 4 equals 3. People, you know, modulus of a complex number equal to fixed value. What is that path? Path is a circle. You can remember now. Z minus Z naught modulus is equal to R. What is this? This is a circle. Center at Z naught. Radius is R. Such circle. People then within the modulus sign, first Z we must have, then definitely we should have minus sign. Thereafter, we have a complex number, that complex number only the center. That complex number only the center. Mm -hmm. Then in that way we have to prepare this. Is it minus and minus four? Then you can very clearly understand what is the people center. What the complex number represented 
by the center of the circle? Minus 4. Is that not? It's minus 4. What is minus 4? Purely real complex number. Purely real. It's imaginary part. I, Y part not available there. Where is this minus 4 complex number? On the negative real axis. Where? At the point minus 4. Hmm? At the point minus 4. Like this. This is center. Right now? But the radius. Radius 3. The length from here to here, people, 4 units. No? But radius is 3 units. Then circle you can draw. Circle is this. Like this. Yeah, part. Okay, people, this is a circle. Huh? This is a circle. Huh? Right now. Huh? Go circle like this. Huh? Oh, do this circle. Huh? Enough. Hmm? Right. Radius is three. Yeah. Then, the equation of this is what people? This one? Huh? Z plus 4 mod this 3. People, what is this Z? Here. Is it mean? On this circle, there are infinitely many points now. By every point, every point represents a complex number. That complex number, this is it. Now, what is asking next? Find also minimum of mod z. Oh, minimum of mod z. How many is it available? Satisfying this infinity. How? Complex sum z mean. This is it mean when we consider any point on the circle, that point represents a complex number. No? That only commonly we mark as z. Then there are infinitely many points on the circle. No? Then for this z, there are infinitely many values. All are complex numbers. Among these all complex numbers, people, there's a minimum modulus. A complex number there is a minimum modulus. According to definition of the modulus, modulus mean people in the argon plane, when a point represents a complex number, the distance to that point from the origin is the modulus of the complex number. Now our complex numbers lie on this circle. Then minimum modulus complex number on the circle mean from this origin, the shortest distance to the circle. When we draw a line from the origin to meet this circle, the line segment should be having least length. Corresponding to that point, the complex number only, the complex number people having the minimum modulus. Then you can see when we draw lines from this origin to meet this circle, right? The least length comes when we draw the line along the here, negative real axis. This is the least length. Then the complex number here we have is the complex number on the circle having the minimum modulus. The minimum modulus is therefore the length from here to here. Hmm? This is a complex number. Hmm? Complex number having minimum modulus. The minimum modulus is people this length. What is that length? The radius is 3, no? The length from here to here, 4. Then this is 1. Then minimum modulus is one. Hmm? Right. Then we can write here complex number on the circle hmm? 
corresponding to minimum modulus. Therefore, is it modulus minimum people want? Can somebody tell me maximum modulus? Maximum modulus. People, maximum modulus mean the distance from this origin to this circle should be maximum. When we draw a line starting from this origin, so as to cut this circle, the intersection point should be far away from this O. Remember people, the least and <coughs> the least distance and <coughs> the highest distance, the longest length to a circle. Suppose we have a circle like this. We have a circle like this. We have an exterior point P. Hmm? The shortest and the highest, longest distances from the point P to the circle, how to find P? Join the center of the circle and this given point P and draw a line and produce that. Then that line cuts the circle at two points. Then first point is this. This is the, hmm? this is the nearest point on the circle to the point P. This is the furthest point on the circle to the point P. Like that, the maximum distance from this origin to the circle can be found origin and center we join and we produce. Then this is one point, this is another point. This is the shortest distance from the origin. This is the furthest point, therefore the longest distance. So the maximum, what is what people? The length from here to here. Right? From here to here, it's four units, and this radius is three units, therefore, this is seven. Therefore, the is that max is seven units, right? Also, is that max? That is not asking here. Seven units. What is it max? Seven units. I take 41 second part. 41 second part. Take people. 41 second part. 41 part 2. What do you want part two? Yeah, find the locus of z such that z plus 4y equals 2. When arg z is minus pi by 2, find the minimum and maximum of mod z. Right. We have to convert these people. Z, we have to have a minus sign between these two, minus 4y. Hmm? Like this. Where's the center, people? Minus 4y. Minus 4y complex number mean said so not minus 4y. 
Hmm? Minus four y means people zero minus four y. In uh, coordinate form, when we express the same thing, zero minus four. Zero minus four. On the negative imaginary axis, the center lies. All right, like this. Zero minus four, somewhere here, suppose. Then this complex number is four i minus four i. Radius is two. Then the length from here to here, people, four units. No, radius two means the circle like this. This. Circle. Right, no? Yes, sir. Okay, first part is okay. So then, uh, this uh, equation of circle is this. Is it plus? O i mod equals 2. Then what is this? Is it huh? the complex numbers available on the circle? Circle on the circle, there are in fact many points now. Every point gives a complex number. For all those complex numbers, the common letter we use is z. Then this z lies on the circle. Z lies on the circle. Now what is asking? When R is it? When R is it? Is minus pi by two. When R is it? Is minus pi by two. Hmm? Is it lies on the circle, people? Is it lies on the circle? Hmm? Its argument should be. Minus 90. People, the complex numbers which have negative 90 argument. Negative argument is coming because of we measure the angle in clockwise more people. Starting from the positive real axis, we have to measure the angle clockwise. To reach minus 90 people, we have to measure the angle up to the negative imaginary axis. Then the complex numbers which have minus 90 argument lie on the negative imaginary axis. Right. Now, the complex numbers in this case we consider lie on the circle. Now we need complex numbers on the circle which are having the argument minus 90. Since minus 90 argument complex numbers available on the negative imaginary axis, we should find what are the two points on the circle which are on the negative imaginary axis. They are people, this point and this point. These two points lie on the circle as well as on the negative imaginary axis. Then by these two points, two complex numbers are represented. They are the complex numbers having the minus 90 argument. Okay, ah, the what is the question they are asking? When arg z is minus pi by 2, find the minimum and maximum of mod z r. Ah. For the argument is minus 90, there are two complex numbers on the circle. They are here. Say p and suppose this is q. The points p and q represents the complex numbers on the circle with the argument minus pi by 2. 
they are minimum and maximum modulus now modulus mean people to those points the distance from the origin this is minimum distance then minimum modulus is this length maximum modulus is people from here to here that's right all right uh, then you can write first row this diagram and write this point as p this is now or huh? this point is p this point is q and now you can write now write on like this the complex numbers on the circle which have argument which have argument minus pi by 2 which have argument minus pi by 2 lie at the points of intersection at the points of intersection of the circle and negative imaginary axis therefore by the diagram those points are p and q right this length is pure 2 this length is 4 then you can write then what is the minimum this length all four this is two this is two what is the maximum hmm? this one four plus two six right now let's solve it here Forty-one part three people take. Forty-one part three. Forty-one part three. Take forty-one part three. Forty-one part three, right? Hurry up. Start forty-one part three. Find the log cos of z such that z minus four i minus three i equals three. Find also maximum and minimum of mod z, right? First row this. Right, that uh, part is uh, find the log cos. Of z such that z minus four minus three i modulus is three. What is this paper? Z minus four plus three i three. What is center? Z not four plus three i radius. Three units in uh, coordinate form. When we explain this circle, center is at four comma three, first quadrant. Radius is three. Draw the circle. Hmm? Radius is people three. Center is at four three. This is circle.
center for three. Now, radius also three. Just I mark this as four three three five. Don't mark that as four three. It should be marked as four plus three i. In order to understand this easily, I mark like that. The radius is three units. This is the y coordinate of the center. No? Radius also three. So therefore, this should touch the real axis. Huh? Okay. And the immediate axis should be like this. This is. The reason is radius is three. Ah, oh, wait, wait, I went wrong. Radius is three. This four means x coordinate. This length is four. This is four. Radius is three. Therefore, the y-axis should be like this. Okay, it's like this. This is the imaginary axis now. This length is four units. Because x coordinate of zeta is four, no? And y coordinate is three. Radius also three. Therefore, this is three. Therefore, the circle should touch the real axis like this. This uh, people, the complex sum here is four plus three. I know. Right, now this is the circle which gives the is it like this huh? radius is three center has the coordinates four three now what is asking next find also maximum and minimum of what is it right now ah. That means we have to draw a line joining origin and the center and produce that line. That line cuts the circle at two points. At that two points, there are two complex numbers. They are the complex numbers corresponding to minimum and maximum modulus of this way. Right. This way. If I take this as P1, this has P2, OP1 is what? Mod this at minimum, OP1. Mod this at maximum, OP2. Hmm? People, you can very clearly notice the length from here to here. Five units. 4 square plus 3 square root, no, this is 5 units. The radius of this circle is 3. Then from here to here, it's 3. Then this length is 5 minus 3, it's 2. What is the minimum is 2. This is max is OP2. This is five, this is three, eight. This is how we take them. Right. 
Right, we will take 42 as the next. 42. Take 42 as the next. 42. Right, now start. It contains both the circle and straight line. Given that, find the locus of z such that mod z minus 4 plus 4i equals 2 root 2. Find the maximum and minimum of arg z and deduce. Arg z less than or equal to minus pi by 12, greater than or equal to minus pi pi by 12. Find arg z when mod z is minimum. Also find the minimum and maximum of mod z plus 2. Right. It's a good question. Right. Start, people. Start this. Yeah, now here. So minus 4 plus 4i modulus. 2 root 2. You can write this one, take minus sign out. 4 minus 4i. Four Is it not? 4 minus 4 y. Where is center? Hmm? Center people, 4 minus 4, no? It is this. Radius? 2 root 2. Hmm? Four minus four. Circle is here. Hmm? Point is uh, well four minus four. This is origin. When you join this point to the origin, you say this is uh, four minus four. I know complex number. Then this point is minus four point. This point is plus four point. Radius is 2 root 2. You know 2 root 2 is then equal 4, no? Root 2 means suppose just 1.5, 1.4, no? Root 2. If you take 1.5, 2 into 1.5 is 3 people. 3 less than 4, no? Right. So therefore, 
the circle does not cut real and imaginary axis. Right. Then uh, next thing, the length from here to here. You can write by using Pythagoras theorem. This is four. This is also four. Hmm? Then four square plus four square root. This length. If I take this point as P. OP length. Square root of four square plus four square. Four, one, one, four root two. This is four root two. Now, what is asking? Find the maximum and minimum of R G Z. People, now the equation of this path circle is this, no? Z minus 4 minus 4i mod equals 2 root 2. Right. Then, here this is it. Where does this is it lie? On the circle. On the circle. Right. If you select one point on the circle, as how we said, for example, here, I select a point as my is it complex number. Right. Then, if this is my complex number is it on the circle, people, what do you mean by its argument? Its argument means when I join this point to this origin, we get a line. Okay. That line makes an angle with real axis. If we take it like this negative angle now, there is the argument of that complex number in negative sense. Positive sense, this whole angle. Now asking people, asking what? If we find like this complex numbers on the circle, what is the maximum argument of the complex number and minimum argument of the complex number? Yeah. Then people, you can very easily understand, since all the complex numbers lie on the circle, now we have to draw lines from this origin to make the circle so that that line makes greater angle and smaller angle. There are two such lines, people. What are the two lines? Our first line is people, when we construct a tangent from this origin to this circle, this way. That point of contact, there is a complex number. Hmm? Then this is the angle. One angle is this. From the same origin, or we can draw another tangent to the same circle, this way. There's another point of contact. Like this. Okay. Then what are the angles? Right. Ang angles asking people negative change, no? Then you have to measure this angle. The other one is people this. This angle. All languages. They are the least and highest arguments in clockwise sense. Now we have to find those angles. Even this angle, let's see how to find. Suppose alpha. How to find that angle alpha? Find people angle alpha. Hmm? Find this angle alpha. And now you can 
take that answer. Right, hurry up. Here 90. You know this angle, 45, no? Why? This height is 4, this also 4. Therefore, this angle is 45. 5 by 4. Okay? I'm going to take this angle as beta, this one small one now. That beta can be easily calculated when I join this way. The radius is 2 root 2, no? Radius is 2 root 2. Okay. The length from here to here. But people, it's 4 root 2, no? We found there, no? What would be 4 root 2? Then we can write sine beta. We can write sine beta. What is sine beta? Opposite side 2 root 2, hypotenuse O to P 4 root 2. This and this you can cancel down. Sine beta people half. Beta is 5 by 6. Hmm? Right. If this is beta, then this is also beta. Why? You know the geometrical result. When we construct two tangents from an exterior point to a circle like this. When you join this point and the center, this line by check this angle, these two are equal. Now, you can find the whole angle. What is the whole angle, people? This whole angle can be found. What is that? 2 beta plus this alpha. Alpha can easily be found. The whole angle, this one is pi by 4. From that pi by 4, subtract beta. Okay? Then we can write alpha. We can write alpha. Alpha is pi by 4 minus beta. This is pi by 4 minus pi by 6. 15, no? Pi by 12. Alpha is pi by 12. So the other one is what people? Beta, beta, alpha is the other argument. 2 beta plus alpha. People, 2 beta. Beta is 5 by 6, no? 30. 30, 30, 60. 60 plus 15. 75. 75 means 15 into 5, no? 15 into 5. <clears throat> pi times pi by 2. Like this. Now, people, argument of Fisud, right? Argument of Fisud. Argue said. What people? This angle, since measured clockwise, this angle should be negative. Argument is negative when it is measured to the direction clockwise. Then argument less than. O equal to minus pi by 12. Why? Alpha is pi by 12. Since it is measured clockwise, the sign is negative. And this is the biggest angle, but that is negative. No? Then argument of is it greater than minus pi pi by 12. Even now, this is the biggest argument. 
This is the least argument. Why do we say like that? Before this angles, we have a minus sign. No? If the angle is small, because minus sign come in before, the size is greater. No? Right, that's why we say. Now, in between these two, there are some more complex numbers on the circle having the arguments between these two values. Now, for example, if you choose a complex number on the circle somewhere here, when you join that point toward this origin, we get a line. That line makes what? Another greater angle than this alpha. Before that angle, we put minus sign no, because we measure the clockwise sense now. Then that angle is small, that argument smaller than what this minus alpha. So therefore, other arguments between these two angles are for the complex numbers on the circle at the rest points. Okay, that's how we take that answer. Right now, yeah. Now, find the arg arg is it when mod is it is minimum. Uh, find the arg is it when mod is it is minimum. People, where is the point on the circle corresponding to the minimum mod is it? Minimum mod is it? The required is it complex numbers lie on the circle now? When you select a complex number on the circle here, its modulus means the distance from here to origin. Hmm? Then we have to find out minimum distance, the point corresponding to minimum distance on the circle from the origin. We know people from the origin, the minimum distance to the circle mean when we join the origin and the center of the circle by a line, that line cuts the circle at two points. Hmm? The closest point is this. Then that length only, the shortest distance or the minimum mode. Hmm? Right. Ah, then you can find that one, this length. Even how to find that length? If I take this point as Q, or Q is the minimum mod is it, hmm? OQ. OQ, mod is it minimum. Hmm? But the length from here to here, OP, we found it. I think four root two, no? We got four root two. The length from here to here, radius, right? This length from here to here, four squared plus four squared root, no? Once you take four squared out, we get four, one plus one, four root two. Hmm? Minus two root two, no? From here to here, 4 root 2, here to here, 2 root 2, 4 root 2 minus 2 root 2, it's 2 root 2. What is next? When mod z is minimum, ah. when mod z is minimum, ask him to find r z. Ah, right. The minimum mod this is this length. The corresponding complex number lies at Q. Then it's argument. The corresponding complex number lies at Q. Hmm? For the minimum mod this corresponding complex numbers lie on the circle at Q. It's argument asking. It's argument going to be people. This whole angle. Alpha plus beta. Right, and then you can write argument of the complex number corresponding to minimum mod descent. Corresponding to minimum mod descent is 
alpha plus beta. It's 45, no people. Five by four. Hmm? Right. The next one. Also find the minimum and maximum of Z plus two modulus. Minimum and maximum of Z plus two modulus. Z plus two modulus. Z plus two modulus. Z hmm? plus two modulus minimum and maximum value. They are also people. What is this? Z? Z is any complex number line where on the circle. Then that Z is a complex number on the circle. Then Z plus two modulus. How to understand this? Z plus two modulus. Hmm? Now think like this. Suppose people here we have point P naught given the complex number Z naught. Point P one given the complex number Z one. Ever can you tell me? The complex number given by line segment P naught P one hmm? ending point complex number minus starting point complex number. Then what is P naught P one length modulus of this now? Right. Then you can very clearly understand. The order of the letters to identify the line segment which gives this complex number can easily be understood. People, P naught P one go inside the modulus, come back this way. Is it not to is it one when we move right? Then P naught P one coming because is it not is corresponding to P naught. Then to get this complex number, the order of the letters to move this way, Z0 to Z1. Z0 is represented by P0, Z1 is represented by P1. Then the line segment, to identify this line segment, which gives this complex number, we have to move from Z0 to Z1, this way. This is the line segment. The arrowhead is going this way. The direction of the arrowhead can easily be found coming backward direction this way. Right. And uh, this one says, people, model says the length of that line segment. Now, tell me this one how to explain. Is it we have to have minus sign? Minus this two, I can write minus two. Then, can you tell me? What is the line segment which gives this complex number? Is it minus minus two? Where should this line segment begin? From minus two. What is minus two? Purely real. Purely real complex numbers are available on the real axis, but that complex number is minus two. Therefore, here the minus two complex number is here. Understand, people? Now, this is a minus minus two complex number. That is a line segment. That line segment starts from minus two. Now we start to draw a line segment. We draw a line segment starting from minus two to cut this circle. You can draw many lines, no? We can draw many lines. For example, I'll draw that another diagram. 
This is circle. This one. Right. This is the imaginary axis. Here, minus two complex numbers. See, <coughs> we can draw many lines here. We can draw many lines like this. Here. That line cuts the circle here at some points. At those points, the complex number only here. This is it. Right. Now, people, what is the question? Question is this Is it plus two modulus? Should be minimum and maximum. Now that means when we draw a line starting from minus two to cut the circle at two points, we need to find the maximum length and minimum length of the line segment. You can very clearly understand this says, in other words, we have a circle like this, we have a point like this. Now asking, what is the minimum distance from this point to the circle and maximum distance from this point to circle? That is what asking. From minus two point, we draw a line to this circle. So that, or in other words, what are the maximum and minimum distances to this circle from the point minus two? That's what we need to find. That is nothing but people, when we join this point and the center, this way, this is a minimum length, this is a maximum length. Understand? Right now, yeah. Then you can write. First, come to this, and then we we'll write one sentence. Right. First, write down this way. Now, write down mod d set plus two. Mod d set plus two. is the length of the line segment is the distance is the distance is the distance mod d set plus 2 is the distance to the circle from the complex number minus 2 From the complex number minus two for this to be minimum and maximum minimum and maximum. We have to draw a line from minus two to pass through the center, to pass through the center. Of the circle. Right on. In other words, 
in other words the minimum and maximum distance to the circle from minus 2 from minus 2 minimum and maximum distance to the circle from minus 2 we will draw this line this is the direction now. then this length we need to find this length first the greatest length is from here to here how to find that length If we can find this length, add in the diameter to that, we can find the greatest. This one we have to find from here to here. Hmm? People, you can use that straight line knowledge. We can find the length from here to here. Here, what are the coordinates? Minus 2, 0. Here, 4 minus 4. Then you can write this length. From that, subtract this radius, then you get this length. To this length, add this radius, then you get this length. Understand? Hmm? Right now. Then I take this length as x. Hmm? x. What is x? Here, 4 minus minus 2, no? Difference of x coordinates of x squared. Right, no? Here, x coordinate is minus 2. Y coordinate is 0. Here, 4. Y coordinate is minus 4. Difference of x coordinates. 4 minus minus 2 of x squared plus difference of y coordinates. Minus 4 minus 0. Perfect square. It's root. Here we get six thirty six, and here sixteen. Root fifty two. No. Two root thirteen. E six. Then what is? Is it plus two mod minimum? From here to here, 2 root 13, subtract this radius, 2 root 2. 2 root 13 minus 2 root 2. Is that plus 2 mod maximum? Two root 13 plus 2 root 2. That's how we take that answer. Huh? If people take forty four. Take forty four as a next forty four. Question of 44. Read 44. Forty-four. Start forty-four. Number forty-four says shade the region <clears throat> of is it satisfying? Yeah, this. Is it plus four plus three i modulus? This then no equal to two 
greater than or equal to one. I can write this. Take in minus sign now. Hmm? Minus four minus three. This way I can write. Take in minus sign now. This then equal to greater than equal to one. Well, I am going to take this first without the less than sign I take first. Is it minus minus four minus three i modulus equals to well, what is this? Huh? What is this? Center is at minus four minus three. Radius is two. It's a circle. We'll do that first. Minus four minus three. Third quadrant. Hmm? This circle. Real axis, immediate real axis, right? Negative real axis, negative immediate real axis. Like this, huh? This is minus four, minus three. Right. Radius is two. I drew one. Huh? The radius is two. Now next one, this take. Is it minus minus four minus three i modulus one? This one I took. What is this? The same center, but the radius is one. Like this. Same center radius is one. Let's see. Now people, this should satisfy in this condition lie on this inner circle. Hmm? The should which satisfy this condition lie. On the outer circle, like this. Right. Now, what is asking? Asking this condition, people. Yeah. Can you remember earlier I told you if we have this thing? Is it minus? Is it not? Equals say two, for example. What is the corresponding line for this? Starting from is it not? We have to go to is it? Right now here. Starting from this, what is that? Center of the circles. We have to go. Starting from the center to a complex number is it? Right. Suppose we have a complex number is it somewhere here? Uh, then to represent this complex number within modulus sign, we have to move from center to is it? Uh, from here to here, you have to move. The arrow is this. But that is inside the modulus. 
then what is modulus of this the corresponding length from here to here the length that length is this modulus that length should be less than 2 or equal to 2 and that length should be greater than 1 or equal to 1 then people what is asking once you start from here to draw a line the length of the line should be 2 or less than 2 and should be 1 or more than 1 people can you tell me the region the length this should be 2 or less than should be 1 or more than that's what this says no? what is that that is the region between these two circles no hmm? we know people this length two units two units this length is one unit the circles we do like that no then distance from this center to a point should be less than or greater than less than two or greater than one including both therefore that region is between these two circles hmm. this is a circle this is a region people if we don't have this equal sign then this outer circle we must draw having a dotted line if we don't have this equal sign the inner circle we must draw with a dotted line since here we have equal sign we do like this without broken line segments so therefore this is the region given by this right now given by this any question people No question. Right. Take it number two, people. Take it number two. Number two. Second part. Take. Hmm? Any question here? No question. Forty four part two take people. Forty four part two. Share the region. Ag is it? Less than or equal to pi by 3, greater than pi by 6. Arg is it? People, we know if you have something like this, arg is it minus is it not equals say pi by 3. What is this, people? It's a straight line, no? Passing through is it not point making an angle pi by 3. This line segment explains by this. Then we don't have after you said any complex number, but people there is what? Zero there. You can take that second complex number after minus sign is zero. This way you can write. Right. Then I can split this into two. Arg. Z minus zero equals pi by three. And this one also I take. Uh, Z minus zero is pi by six. First I draw these two lines. So then what is this line? Passing through the origin, making 60. Passing through the origin, making 30 with the positive real axis. Uh, then the two lines now we can sketch. Now we will we'll draw this. This 
real axis and imaginary axis. Now straight lines you have to draw. First one, passing through the origin, making an angle 60, this way. Origin we don't take. This. Other one, 30. This is 30. 5 by 6. This is 5 by 3. Since here we have equal sign, when we draw this one, this way, we draw without broken lines. Since here we don't have equal sign, the lower one I have draw like this with the broken ones. Okay. Now what is asking? What is this? Arg z minus zero. What is this? The straight line starting from origin should have argument less than no equal to five by three, greater than no equal to five by six. That means when we draw a line passing through this origin that line must make an angle with the positive real axis so that that angle should be greater than 30, less than no equal to 60. That's what it says, right now. What is this? Arg is at minus zero. What is that? A line starting from zero. That means origin, right? We draw a line starting from origin, this way. That line should make with positive real axis an angle, that angle less than no equal to 60. That means below this line, greater than 30. That means above this line. Then what is the area or the region having that property? People, that property satisfies this region. Hmm? Now, in this region, <coughs> draw any line starting from this origin this way and take any point on that line. That point represents the complex number. No? Its argument is what people? More than 30, less than 60. Therefore, this condition satisfied in the region this. Understand? Okay, now? Right. Now we will take third part in it. Take third part. And it says people this way, part three, z minus three, minus four i modulus, less than or equal to five, greater than two. You know, this is a circle now people, take minus sign out, three plus four i. Where the center of the circle? 3 plus 4i means 3, 4 point. This says we have draw circle with the center this, radius 5. This says radius 2 with the same center. But here we don't have equal sign. That circle we must draw dotted line segment, right? 3 plus 4i center. L axis is the major axis.
Yes, Arjun, no. 3, 4 is the center. X coordinate 3, Y coordinate 4. This way. Okay, cent is uh, three four. Radius five. People, the length from here to here what? Also five, no? By using Pythagoras theorem, this is three. This is four. Three squared plus four squared twenty five. Root is five. This is five. So therefore, this time the circle passes through the origin. If you don't draw like that, you lose marks, right? So therefore, it should be like this. Five units, no? Three. And this is a radius is five. Go and five, yeah. And the uh, radius greater than two. The same center. Radius greater than two. Should be like this. See, but here we don't have equal sign. Therefore, we have to draw this one. I mean now. Broken line, so going to like this now. This length is, uh, this radius is people, what, two units, huh? Then what is the region? Region should be between the circles, this region. Right, this region. This is the region given by that. Huh? This region is shaded now. Right. Between the two circles, that's correct. Another one we have, that is a straight line. Hard. But people. Is it minus 3 minus 4y? Is 10 over 5 by 2? Greater than 5 by 6. People, when you start with this arg, what is that? A straight line. Take this minus sign out. 3 plus 4y. Right. Can somebody tell me what is this line? This line is starting from the complex number 3 plus 4y. 3 plus 4y means the center of the circles. Right? The center of the circles. Is a three plus four y complex number. Center of the circles. From that center, a line should start so as to end at a complex number representing z. Hmm? That line should have argument less than or equal to pi by two. Ah, right. Even now we draw like this. We draw like this here. Yeah? I draw a line. People parallel to imaginary axis. 
going away from the center right you know how to read this line we have to move this way starting from this point we have to go to is it uh, this way that argument should be 90 or less 90 line only i have drawn since here we have equal sign that line should be drawn with this way perfect line without using the broken line segments since the argument should be 90 or less 90 on this less means on this side before this line right other one is greater than 5 by 6 the same line should start from the centers of the circle so that that makes 30 with a positive real axis ah, it is like this but here we don't have equal sign therefore this line should be drawn broken line segments like this then people where is this region in between that two lines this region more line segments should come like this huh Now people, what is asking? What is asking? For the region this and for the region this, common region. There is no shade the region of Z such that this condition and this condition both satisfy. Both conditions are satisfied by the common region. What is the common region? This part. Do that in another diagram. This is also okay, right? So then, required region we can very easily point out this way. This is a required region. This portion, now I do here. Right, no. Right. People, now this is the end of all theories in the first part. Now the one theory that is the Demoer's theorem. We discussed that later, later in the sense after at the end of this lesson. Now all the theories in complex are finished, but remember though you know the theory is people, we must do more sums in order to get the rhythm of working out the question at the paper, right? Yeah. Now try all the questions in the tutorial. And even fast papers at the moment uh, actually, uh, till we do another uh, two three questions uh, don't go to try them if possible do after doing another two three questions only people you get the enough experience to work out the questions alone okay right then i suppose to end the finish the lesson today any question <laughs>